Hi, it's Friday, so let's pray together. This is probably a familiar scene to you because this is where drive-in church, and if you join us online, this is kind of the view that you get on Sunday mornings. And I chose to pray here today because we're focusing in on vision. And it's in this place that my vision has been greatly expanded. It's where I began to see what the church could become, and maybe what we've always been called to be. God wants to speak to you today and, and moving into 2021 about the vision he has for you in your life personally, for your family, but also as our church and in your community that you live in. God's plan is bigger than ours. You have to remember as we see things and how God sees things, they're very different. Our perspective is very limited while God has a much broader view of what he wants to do, the plan that he has. And if we can catch glimpses of what God wants to do and set us in the right direction, that's a place where miracles can begin to take place in greater ways. When we look at vision in the Bible, we see a man named Joseph who was given dreams about his distant future. This great, these great things that would take place. Now left out from those visions were the hardships that he would have to go through to get there. But you know what? In the midst of hardships is where God does some of his greatest refining works in our hearts in our spirits and in our minds. God has been wanting to refine the church and that's what he's been doing throughout 2020 and he'll continue to do it in 2021. But he's definitely has a vision, a bigger vision for our church. One of the things that's dramatically changing, and you know this if you've been hanging out with us for a while, that there's a priority in the gospel that the lost must have an opportunity to hear the good news of Jesus Christ that we're called to take the message to the streets and to our workplaces, to our campuses and far beyond. And that's why prioritizing reaching the lost through the preaching of the word is number one for us right now. And that brings us to the vision that God might have for us. I believe that God is, is beginning to show us some things for the future. I had a conversation with someone recently and we talked about the fact that when we build on church campuses, what do we primarily build for? Well, we primarily built structures, not just physical structures, but uh, ministry structures that cater to the found. It's, there's very few things that we do as a church where it's the priority of reaching the lost, that, that we build structures that way. What if in 2021, God wanted to start to give us a vision for building things towards reaching the lost? both in ministry structures, but maybe also a physical component to our building that's designed to be able to reach our community with the gospel. I don't know exactly what that will look like. I, I got a feeling that I'm not the only one that has that beginning, that tingling in their heart, their mind. I believe God wants to show us something and to step out in faith. And we've talked before that about vision and provision. When we start being obedient to the vision, God's provision will be there. What if we didn't limit ourselves to what we think is possible, but we, we, we stretch our faith and go, God, what is it you wanna do? And how do we begin to step into that? I believe that the sky's the limit when it comes to that. And God will direct us and his provision will be there for us each step along the way. I believe that in 2021, we're about to see some amazing miracles as we step into the vision God has for us. That means building structures, not just physically, but while that is a part of it, also spiritually, also ministry, structures that work better, that make us more effective. God wants to do that same thing in your, in your life, in your relationships. He wants to give you vision for your family, a vision for your future, for your life, a vision for your ministry. And let, I'm gonna tell you this, the vision for your ministry is not a position, but it's a place of service. How is God asking you to serve? We, we set the wrong mentality saying, God, our vision is about a position. That's not it at all. Our, our, our vi God's vision for your life is about serving. And how would God have you serve in 2021 and beyond? God wants to speak to your heart today. God wants to move in incredible ways. And I know this, Ripon and its surrounding communities, get ready because God is on the move. He's coming to your town and he's here to change and transform lives. He's here to restore marriages and relationships. 
He's here to take the brokenhearted and make them whole. And he's here to free the people that are underneath the burden of sin and freedom of his grace and love. That's the vision God has. And I know he's about to execute it in and through his people. So let's pray this morning. God, I thank you for the opportunity you've given us. Lord, to stretch our horizons, to take the gospel to places we never dreamt we could take it before. Lord, for Ripon and its surrounding communities, God, we realize you have a bigger vision. You're wanting to step into people's lives and change and transform them to make people whole and well and delivered. Lord, those who are struggling to come into a place of strength, those that are underneath the burden of, of all sorts of different issues in their life to experience freedom that only you can bring, to empower people who thought they could never make a difference, to have them serve in ways that bring glory and honor to you. God, you've called us and you've called us to be faithful. You've called us to use this, this thing on top of our shoulders, our minds, and to prioritize things for your kingdom. God, we know that Lord, you have spoken to us repeatedly about prioritizing reaching the lost. Lord, too often we have spent time and effort fulfilling our own needs, what we thought we needed. But Lord, what we realize today is that our communities need the gospel. So Lord, we pray on our campus today, both the structure that we currently have, that it would be dedicated to you, but God, what you're wanting to do in this place in the future, things that you're wanting to build, ministry structures, but maybe Lord, also physical structures that would enable us to take the gospel to our community in a more effective way. Lord, the things that you started to open our eyes to with these Friday night worship nights that we've done over this last season. There's, that's, that's, that's beginning to open a door to some, a new avenue to us and new possibilities. Lord, I'm not worried about the resource this morning. I know that you will you'll give us the resource. Lord, priority is to catch the vision, to catch the vision of what you're wanting to do not just for me as a pastor, but for all of us. Or what would happen if, if our lives were so shaken by this vision that's so much bigger than us? And Lord, if our vision isn't bigger than us, it's not your vision. So God, we pray for a bigger vision for what you wanna do in our communities. And Lord, we pray for opportunities of steps of faith to execute the plan that you're giving us, to take, to take leaps of faith forward and to step out, to not be stupid, but but Lord, to, to take those, those risks that, that you, you've called us to take and then to see your provision flow and to meet us and to do miracles. God, I believe 2021 is about to bring bigger miracles than we ever thought possible. In 2021, Hillside Assembly is more of a resource to other ministries and missionaries and people than we've ever been in the past. We can only do that with your help. And we can only do that by being obedient to you. So Lord, help us as we move forward to catch the vision that you have. Lord, we thank you so much, God, for working with us. And Lord, we pray for better vision for ministries that you want in and out of our church. Lord, every demographic, every people group, God, to be able to be there, to have people serving all over the place. Lord, that's a lot of logistics, but you're a God who's so big it's so amazing, and you'll provide a way. Lord, we give you praise, glory, and honor this morning. Church, I love you. Continue to seek God's face. Continue to seek the real God, the living God, through his word and through prayer. And we'll see you tomorrow as we continue to pray together. Have an amazing day.